My name is Sharon, welcome to my show. Today we're going to talk about wheels. I like to make my own wheels and ever since Robot Wars started and I started making heavyweight robots, every wheel on there was made by myself. And the basic principle has always been the same. Uh, HDP tube, HDP sides and a go-kart wheel around. Important part is that you find a tube and the tire that fit in one piece. And also you can use the side of the tire for some extra bounciness and protection. You can also use smaller wheels like this, solid, as if really strong and they were great, uh, but they don't fit in our design. You need some HDPE for this, some HDP tubing, found this at the recycle center, and of course, Gogart tire. You can uh, get these ones for free at some card centers. Uh, also, you can buy them new online. They cost about uh, 10, 15 euros a tire. It's worth it. It's worth it if it's new. I use the rain tires, lots of profile, lots of grip on wood and steel floors. So they work great. Proven technology. For tools, you will need a router. This is the cheapest one I could find. Uh, for power tools, it's very simple. I buy the cheapest power tool I can find. If I'm not sure, I'm gonna use it often. Uh, this one was around 50 euros and it worked great. And I think after a while, I will buy the real deal, like a real brand and not this Chinese one. Also, power drill and you need an electric saw. First thing I did was uh, cut the HDP tubing. Uh, it's important to mark it really clear. If you use a piece of uh, cardboard that's straight on one edge and wrap, wrap it all the way around your tube and it will fit tightly, uh, then you know you have a straight line. So I mark it and then I drill small holes next to each other for the electric saw to uh, start uh, cutting. Make sure the piece of uh, HDB tubing is uh, good and tight on the workbench and cut it all the way around. After that I will use the router with a uh, special router bit. And this router bit is, uh, I made it from three router bits so it will cut out a small piece of the tire and the HDP that will fit it will fit uh, very tight, so it, uh, it, keeps, it helps it uh, keep it in place. And with the normal router bit like this one, I will make a nice circle in the HDP. If you buy a cheap router, normally there will be a, a special guide with them, a guide like this, and this will make sure you can. Uh, cut a nice circle in the HDPE. It's very important when you cut, you take your time. It doesn't have to go out in one uh, cut, so uh, you can make several cuts and if you do that uh, it will be a nice cut, clean cut and when you have your first really shallow cut, make sure your radius is right, get the piece of HDPE tubing on top and see that it will work. It will fit, a little motivation, and there you have it. Now drill small holes in the HDPE for the screws to go in. It will be 12 screws all the way around, I think. And after this, I will fit the rubber on it and use over 30 small screws to make sure it will keep in place. Also, don't forget uh, the motor mount, it is a little bit elevated, so we have to cut a hole in the middle, so the motor mount will fit. And there you have it! A tire! Thanks for watching guys! 
Uh, I will be back within two weeks with part five. Part five, you're gonna fit the tires and the motors in the frame we have and make more armor on top of the frame and make a first test run with the new tires, the new motors. Thanks for watching.